that day all week. Why, Mr. Beetle, this will last as long as the building holds together. Well, if it does, I'll be happy. Well, Mr. Beetle, I see you're going out of business again. Yeah, this is the biggest last day we've had in the last two years. But it really is the last, last day. You should be ashamed of yourself, taking advantage of people like this. I am going out of the Valentine business. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. And how soon are you going out of business again? Not before Easter. Oh, uh, your store don't seem to be doing very good. No, it isn't. Why don't you listen to reason? Sell out to me. Why should I? I was here first. Why should I let you step in and take my business away from me like this? How are you going to stop me? Oh, I'll think of something. You won't stand a chance against me. I'll have your store within three months. I know how to run a business, I do. Oh, Mr. Beetle, here's the bill for that work I just finished. Oh, yeah, the bill. Well, sue me for it. <laughs> Oh, Parky, what am I going to do? Why don't you sell out to Mr. Beetle? No, I'm not. I'm going to fight him. But I've got to think of something quick. You see, the trouble with greeting cards is that we can't get any new ideas for them. We have reindeers for Christmas and, and hearts for Valentine's Day and bunnies for Easter. We've got to get something different. That's the idea. You took the words right out of my mouth. You know, two minds. That's what we've got to get, something different. Well, what would you suggest, Parky? Oh, there's nothing to it. The whole difficulty is that... Uh, why, we should, uh, well, we've just got to get something different. Like, for instance, we need new verses. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I write verses for my own amazement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of them even amaze me. Now, look here, I got some, uh, I got one for Father's Day. Father's Day? Hmm. Mary has a ruffle. I discovered it by chance. A dainty decoration on the bottom of her petticoat. It followed her to school one day. Well, Parky, but that's about women's clothes. Your father wouldn't be interested in that. <laughs> You don't know my father. <laughs> Wait till you hear this one. When I'm with you, I'm all alone. You are to me as a dog to a bone, like a talking picture in the movies. Wait, I... wait. Oh, you have got an idea. Talking greeting cards. They made moving pictures talk. Why, Parky, we ought to be able to make greeting cards talk. Oh, that's silly. Talking greeting cards. Musical Valentines. I've got to sing a torch song. For that's the way I feel And when I feel a thing Why, I can sing It must be real I could never sing a gay song It wouldn't be sincere I could never croon A happy tune Without a tear I've had my dreams but one by one, they vanished in the sky. I've tried to smile and face the sun, but romance passed by. I've got to sing a torch song to someone far apart, for the torch I bear is burning there, right in my heart. A lively little jingle never cheers me. I sing of love, but no one hears me. I've got to sing a torch song. Why, oh, that's the way I feel when I feel a thing. Why, I can sing. That's it must be. What are you supposed to do with them? Send them to your friends through the mail. That's a great idea. John, let's send one home for Mother. Yes. Come on. I say, that is a good idea. Officer? Yes, sir. I want to make a complaint. What's wrong? These people are blocking the sidewalk in front of my store. Well, uh, what do you care? You're going out of business. Yeah. Uh, Business certainly has picked up, hasn't it, Parky? I should say it is. That was a great idea of yours. It certainly was. Uh, uh, Lassie, 
Yes? Have you got any Scotch New Year's cards for 1934, 1935, 1936, 1937? Well, no, I don't think so, but we have a Scotch anniversary card here. Would you like to hear it? Aye. And do you remember the first day we were married, what we started to do? What? We made an agreement that every time I kissed you, I was to put a dime in the box. Well, today's our anniversary. Let's open it and see. Hey, wait a minute. Every time I kissed you, I only put a dime in the box. Where did all these five and ten dollar bills come from? Well, Jock, you must remember. No, all your men friends are as stingy as ye are. Do you like it? Aye, but now that I've heard it, there's no sense in buying it. Well, well, well. Well, hi, Mr. Beetle. Would you like a greeting card? We have a very special lot here for you. Greeting cards to creditors. For you, a dollar a dozen. Think you've got something, don't you? I think so, don't you? Oh, a little novelty that will soon wear off. Well, I know you're dying to see the place. Come along, I'll show you the recording room. People make records here to send to their friends. We have marvelous singers in here, you know. As a matter of fact, the, the Village Vaughn Hillbillies are here making a record now. Greeting cards have made such a hit with my family that I've come to get some more. Have you got one of yourself singing? I want to send it to Uncle Ben. There's one right here. Oh, lovely. Yeah. May I hear it? Certainly. Our love had ended. He went away. The rain descended. The world was gray. Then something happened so strange. Oh, what a wonderful change. Now it's sunny weather. Ever since we're back together. Oh, what love. The sun above does nothing but shine all day. Sunny weather. My heart's as light as a feather. Skies of blue are shining through. My troubles have melted away. Once it was stormy, for me things looked black. Oh, I felt abandoned, and then he came back. Now it's sunny weather, gonna be that way forever. As 
long as he is here with me, it's sunny weather all day. Sunny weather, ever since we're back together. Oh, what love the sun above does, nothing but shine all day. Sunny weather, my heart's as light as a feather. Skies of blue are shining through, my troubles have melted away. Once it was stormy, for me things looked black. Oh, I felt abandoned, and then he came back. Now it's sunny weather, and it's gonna be that way forever. As long as he is here with me, it's sunny weather all day. That's very nice, but poor Uncle Ben is in the hospital, laid up with a broken leg. I want something more appropriate. Oh, well, maybe you'd like something in our uh, sympathy series. These are very nice. Oh, yes, Uncle Ben would like that. I also want to send a message of congratulations to my brother Bert. He's just landed a swell job after two years. <laughs> You should send him a medal. <laughs> Maybe you'd like something in our New Deal cards. Quite an appropriate little novelty for people going back to work. I'll take these. All right. Now, here are the addresses. See, this one is Uncle Ben's. All right, thank you. And this one is Brother Bert's. All right. I'm well, sure they'll both be surprised. Thank you very much. Miss. Parky, pretty heavy today. Well, here's a pleasant little surprise for you. It's one of those new talking greeting cards, and it's from your niece. Ah, all she's after is my money. Oh, don't you want to hear it? Yes, yes, put it on. Might as well listen to it. Probably a lot of sentimental slush. A great big stiff, at last you got a break. You really deserve it, of that there's no mistake. You're staying there forever, we'll make all very gay. Don't you disappoint us, happy returns of the day. Ah! Say, say, take that down from there. What's the idea, you old buzzard? But I'm not afraid of your tricks anymore, Mr. Beetle. Oh, aren't you? No. Well, if you can make money selling a thing like that, I'll eat it. Eat it? You'll eat it and like it. Parky! What's the matter? Oh, Mr. Beetle's given me a great idea. You mind the store. I got to find a candy factory. Candy factory? How about London Bridge is falling down? Have you got the St. Louis blue? Yes, right here. There you are. Thank you. And here's a needle to play it with. Thank you. Oh, aren't you going to take it home and play it before you eat it? No, if I see it home, you ask me where did I get the dime to buy it. The dime? I hope you didn't steal that dime. No, I took it while nobody was looking. <laughs> Oh, that's a needle. You mustn't eat that. I'm going to egg. <laughs> Henry. Hello, Ma. Where y'all go? I'm looking for you. You didn't see anything of a dime before you left the home, did you? No, Ma ain't got it. Don't you lie to me. Turn around here. Let me look in these pockets. 
Where's that music coming from? I don't, I don't know. Turn around. What you got in your shirt? Nothing. You is too. Alanda Mussy Child, you handed. Let me get you to the doctor quick. The reception is better this time. Yes, not so much static. That wasn't static, that was me. <laughs> doctor, the horoscope is ready now. Oh, fine. Now, son, you come and stand right here. Miss Chaplin, that explains the whole case. <laughs> Here, Henry, you can eat this one now. Oh, but this time, Henry, we're going to play it first before you eat it. Okay. Little grains of sand make a happy land. Little drops of water make the sea. Little petals make a pretty flower. And little minutes make a golden hour. Little words, the wise, open up one's eyes, and you'll find that what I say is true. It isn't always the big things in life that count, it's the little things like all of you. Little deeds you sow are little seeds that grow, and you'll find that what I say is true. It isn't always the big things in life that count, it's the little things like all of you. 